my dear friends, and welcome back to Glam Life. My name is Kristen. Um, today, I just wanted to go ahead and bring you another color review of one of my favorite styles, which is John Renault Jessica, and this is in 12 FS8 Shaded Praline, which is absolutely one of my favorite blonde colors, um, and I have this in um, several other styles as well, such as my um, the Sarah, my John Renault Sarah which is a longer length wig. So as you all know, um, and I'm sorry I keep bringing reviews of the same style, but I just love it. Um, I think it's such a fun, curly, medium length wig, and it just has such great um, curl pattern and volume, which is something that I really love in the summertime, um, really love this time of year. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And um, so this is the little tag for Shaded Praline. And, um, I was just inspired to put this on and wear this to work today actually because um, I had a uh, desire to watch Grease again, which is one of my absolute favorite shows. Um, as we all know, it was um, filmed in 1978 and it's just absolutely one of those shows that is amazing. It never goes out of style. It's always fun to watch and um, I just felt like watching it again. I actually went on Amazon and found out that I could get it in 4K because I have a 4K TV. And so um, I decided to order that DVD um, in the 4K so that I would have it for my collection. I have an older um, DVD of it back before we had, you know, Blu-rays and 4K TVs and all that fun stuff. Um, but um, I also have Voodoo on my TV, so I was able to watch it even before the DVD arrives in the mail. And I was just so excited. And then, you know, at the very end of Grease um, is where Olivia Newton-John is, is dancing with John Travolta. And I love the part where um, they're dancing at the end at the carnival and um, Olivia Newton-John has that beautiful volume, voluminous hair there at the end when she's dancing with him. And um, this kind of style here really reminds me a lot of that. We've got those wonderful curls and just a lot of volume at the crown and um, it's so exciting. Um, I remember as a kid I used to watch that over and over and my sisters did too. Um, when they were young they actually were able to go to the theater and watch it several times. I've heard that story and just love it. And uh, But then by the time I got old enough to understand and watch it um, I was a teenager and so I would watch it you know with my mom and, and just watch it by myself even in, back in my apartment days. And it was so fun to um, watch. And, and I remember doing the same thing as my, my sister, Cindy and Dawn. I would watch it over and over and over. And I just loved all the songs, had the soundtrack, you know, and just always loved her hair. And I always wanted hair like um, Olivia Newton-John and Farrah Fawcett. I always wanted the really big, voluminous curls. I just, that was my dream. And, of course, my hair being fine and thin and, and flat, it would not... Curl. It wouldn't keep curl like this. No volume because I don't have my bio hair is not thick, so it won't keep the uh, the curls and the density. And I was always thinking, gosh, it would be so phenomenal to have hair like that. How sexy that would be to have volume in your hair. And now I have it. Thirty six years in the making here, and I finally got the hair that I've always dreamed of. And so I'm so thankful and so blessed. Um, by that. I just, it's so incredible that it's actually became a reality because it's really something that I figured, you know, I was going to pass away and just never experience sexy hair. And that is something that I have wanted my entire life. I mean, I think um, as women, we all desire to be beautiful and we all desire to, to look and feel our best. And I have struggled with that for many, many years. I have had um, extremely bad self-esteem issues, thinking that I'm not good enough, thinking that I'm not pretty enough, you know, struggling with relationships. Um, up until my husband came along who passed away in 17, um, I just could not get anybody to appreciate me or respect me for who I am. I was never skinny enough, not pretty enough, couldn't talk good enough, I'm not educated enough, something. Um, and so that really ruined me over the years, not having a steady husband, not having a, a steady relationship, um, not having the not having any kids, um, I lost the one that I had because I had preeclampsia uh, back in 2009. I had preeclampsia, caused my blood pressure to go over 200 because I guess my weight or something, and um, I, they had to uh, terminate the pregnancy at seven months 
or actually, yeah, seven months. And, um, and then I ended up having to give that child up for adoption because of my ex at the time. Um, he had a mental disability and he just, I thought we could stay together as a family unit and found out that, you know, because he had such a, such a low IQ, um, the, the state of, uh, Kansas was not going to allow me to keep the child. So I, I either had to get, you know, let him go or let the child go. And I made the mistake of letting the child go and then ended up in a very ugly divorce, um, a couple of years later when he cheated on me. And, um, it was just a really sad time. And so it took me a long time to get out of that. Um, thankfully my husband James came along and really helped me and then passed away three years later. So I've just had up and down, up and down, fighting a lot of depression and, um, makeup and wigs has really helped me though conf with my confidence because, um, as I've stated in the past, I work in a very high stress job. It's customer service. It's very high stress. And, um, I have to be on the phones on a daily basis. And, um, so with that, it really causes a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of panic attacks. And when you don't feel and look your best, it can really, uh, be a struggle. And so, Wigs has really brought me a lot of confidence that I've never had in 36 years because I've always thought I wasn't pretty enough, wasn't good enough. And so I really appreciate when you share those comments with me and it makes me feel so much better too hearing that, you know, even those of you that are skinny or those of you that don't have weight issues also struggle with that because that is something that I have struggled with for years. Um, feeling like every woman that I see out there looks prettier than me and just feeling completely down because why can't I look like that? You know, why can't I get the attention that those women get? Why can't I be as pretty? And so I'm constantly, um, I guess my entire life, I've just been constantly buying things and, and, you know, trying to grab whatever I can to try to get that attention that I so desperately have wanted my entire life. Because to be honest, um, I guess I always wanted to be, you know, kind of famous or, you know, I just wanted to be somebody. I wanted to be an influencer. I wanted to be somebody that people look up to, that people um, look to for uh, reviews and information. And that's just a passion that I have. And it's something that I'm very um, interested in, but it's something that I've always struggled with finding my place. It seems like everybody else does that, but why can't I? So that's why I decided to jump on and just get into the YouTube channel. I love making these videos. Um, I love having my own channel. Um, always wished I could be a broadcaster, news anchor, something. Um, just so I could share, you know, my opinions and my heart and, and myself with others out there. And so, um, this is a way that I can do that. And I absolutely love it. I love making these videos. I think it's so much fun to, to show you the different styles and the different looks. And, um, so even though wigs has cost a fortune and, um, it'll be a fortune, you know, it'll be years paying these things off. I think it's worth it um, for whatever years left I have on this earth, because as we all know, we're not promised tomorrow. Um, I've lost uh, both parents, lost my husband, lost countless others in a short amount of time. And so um, I know that life is short and I just feel like I have to live my best life right now because I don't know how many, how many days I have left. I don't know what the future holds, but I just want to look and feel my best so that I can feel confident in every aspect of my life. And I think that wigs has really helped me uh, tremendously in that area because when I look in the mirror and I see my bio hair, I get very, very, very down, very depressed. It just looks flat. It's frizzy. Um, to be honest, I hate it and hate's a strong word, but I don't like it. And I never have. I used to look in the mirror when I was a child and all I saw was a fat, chubby girl with straight, flat, frizzy hair. And all these other women around have gorgeous makeup and gorgeous hair and their toes are perfect and everything about them is so perfect and men are just, you know, groping at them and I couldn't have that. You know, people would look at me as the uh, fat toad or, you know, just make all kinds of comments, chubby girl, things like that. And those things hurt and um, because I have a photogenic memory, um, I can, you know, remember things that people said years ago to me. All of those negative comments that were said to me stuck with me and have stuck with me as an adult and has caused a lot of, I guess you could say, uh, mental issues because of it. So when I see other women, I'm immediately jealous because they have something that I don't. Um, so it's been a real struggle for me. And, um, 
I, I guess I was scared of wigs at the beginning because I wasn't sure, you know, how I was going to feel with them on. Um, but I love the fact that really when I put them on, I don't even know they're there. Um, especially after a few minutes of wearing them, I can't even tell that anything's on my head. So um, I never really liked wearing hats. That's not really something that I ever really liked in the past. And I was afraid that, you know, wearing wigs might feel something like a hat. And I guess it sort of does, but I think that the way that wigs are designed nowadays, they're designed very comfortably. And so I'm very thankful for that because I really put them on and I forget that they're there and I just look in the mirror and I'm happy with what I see in the mirror. I love these styles. I love these voluptuous curls and I'm truly feeling satisfied. Like I can look at myself in the mirror with makeup on and a hairstyle whether it's a new change every day or the same hairstyle, and I love what I see. I don't look in the mirror and think, oh my, I, you know, I wish I was somebody else. This really helps the confidence level, um, and people have noticed that. People have noticed that when, I'm, when I have a wig on, I am a lot more confident than when I take the wig off at night and I've just got my normal hair. Um, I don't feel as confident, I don't look as confident, but when I have this wig on, there's just, I'm a different kind of person. I feel more at power, you know, more powerful. I feel more in charge, I feel more like, people can't run over me and, and see me as that fat chubby girl that they always said I was in the past. And so I feel like I can really be myself in a confident, uh, living my best life kind of way. So I'm sorry that I went off on that little, you know, uh, rampage there. Sometimes I just get to rambling and sharing my thoughts with you. And um, I enjoy so much that I have such dear friends out there that support me and that um, are giving me such wonderful encouragement every day. And I appreciate that so much because it really means more to me than you can, you can imagine. It really helps to come home after a long, stressful day, um, got a migraine headache, and just see those kind comments on my channel. And it just really gives me the encouragement and um, ability to, to continue. So I just wanted to show you again this uh, beautiful shade. So this is Jessica. And it's in 12 FS8 Shaded Praline. And I'll just show you real quick. <laughs> excuse me. I'll just show you real quick um, what she looks like. So it's similar to all my other styles. Very, very pretty. I love... I love the overall volume and the curl pattern on this. I think the curl pattern is just absolutely gorgeous on Jessica. It just, it has a curl, like I said, it just, as I was watching Grease last night, it was so inspiring to throw this on this morning. I thought this is the hair that I got to wear today because Grease says it all. It's just beautiful. It just... It's Olivia Newton-John here, I think, especially in the Grease show. That's such a fun show to watch. Love every song in there. And I thought, you know, it, it just everything, even though I haven't watched it in like 15 years, all the songs and all the phrases came back. And I just love it. So I just, I think this is a really fun style. Great for summer, great for any time of the year. Um, and I really do think it's a dupe for Broadway. It's very similar to Broadway. It is a little different, but it could definitely be a dupe for Broadway. As we all know, Broadway is supposedly discontinuing their style, which is really sad. And um, I think this is a great dupe. I, and and the, the awesome thing about this is it's a great price point. With discounts, you can get it on Wig Outlet and Sister Wigs for around $86 to $90. Um, so you can get this wig at a great price point. Um, there are no extra features with it. It just has a regular classic cap. Um, so you're, you're not getting a lace front or anything like that, which definitely keeps the price point down. But it's a very comfortable style. It's a very comfortable cap. And again, the volume to this is amazing. So if you like volume and just an all over really curly look, you'll love this. And if you're needing a curly wig like this and you're on a budget, this is definitely something to look into because on a budget, you can afford this, you know, easily. Um, and the cool thing about it is you can get two of these wigs for the price that you would pay for many of just one wig. You know, like if you pay 160 to 170 for one wig, you could pay 170 and get two of these at $86 each. So you could experiment with different colors, um, different styles. Uh, and like I said, you know, the cap, because the cap is just an average cap, that's why the price is a lot less. There's no hand tied, there's no lace fronts. But it's still very comfortable and 
um, very realistic looking. I just, I love everything about this, but especially the volume. You've got curls going on that are out of this world, and you can really, there's a lot of permatease in these um, Jessica wigs. So I just love the style. I love everything about it. Um, I like accessorizing it with a headband. My square bands are the best and perfect accessory for any wigs. They secure them nicely. And you can just pop that in and kind of poof all this out. And you've got this adorable curly style. And I just love it. I love everything about this. Like I said, it's so um, reminiscent of Greece and the big hair of the 80s and 70s. Absolutely love that style. I would have loved to, I was born in 83, but I would have loved to be born in the 50s, 60s, 70s. I think that was an awesome time, time error. Um, and if I could, if I could redo my life and if I could choose when I was born, it would definitely be in the 50s, 60s, and 70s because I love, I love the hairstyles. I love vintage pieces. I love um, clothing. I love all the clothing in the 50s and 60s. I love the dresses. I love the shoes. I love just the way the, the way the ladies were so elegant back then in that time era. Beautiful red lipsticks, beautiful makeup, glowing skin, and a charm and classiness that I feel was out of this world. Even though I wasn't born in that time era, I have studied it. And I like to pretend I'm from that era, <laughs> even though I'm not. I have two sisters that are from that era. Uh, my mom was born in 46, my dad was born in 39, and um, so I grew up with all the oldies. My dad had a jukebox, a Wurlitzer jukebox in our house, and I tell you, it was so much fun growing up because every Sunday morning, dad would get up, mom would be making biscuits and gravy and pancakes, and he would put the jukebox on, and he had hundreds of of the old time records. We had eight tracks. We had records. And so even though I was born in the early 80s, I had parents from that era and I just loved everything about that time period. Four or five years old and I was just dancing and rocking out to the jukebox and it was so much fun. And uh, dad and I would sometimes dance and mom would say, you guys are like Fred and Ginger, you know? And it was just so fun. It was a time that I'll never forget, it was a time that I was truly happy and it didn't last long enough. And then shortly after that, people started passing away and I lost, you know, my grandma and then lost my other grandma at 15. And from then on, it's been loss after loss after loss. And it's been very hard to deal with. I try to stay positive, but it's been very hard. And so uh, I just love everything about the, the vintage era. And hair like this totally reminds me of that era. And that's why I love it. I, that's why I love these voluminous, curly um, Olivia Newton-John and Farrah Fawcett styles because that was what was popular back then. And I feel like it still should be popular. It's popular in my heart. Um, like I said, I love vintage. I just, I adore everything about vintage pieces. Um, I have, you know, makeup in my collection that looks vintage. I love the Besame Cosmetics, and that's something I haven't talked a whole lot about on my makeup channel. But Besame Cosmetics makes lipsticks that are reminiscent of actual vintage lipsticks. So they are actual vintage pieces um, that they, they basically redone lipsticks. Like this one's dusty pink, or no, this one's portrait pink. And they went through and made lipsticks exactly like certain lipsticks during the eras. So everything from like 1920 to 1970 they have made a lipstick that was exactly a duplicate of a lipstick during that time. And I love that. And I love the packaging, this gold, beautiful packaging that looks so vintage and it looks beautiful sitting up on my desk or on my makeup table here. I have like a whole little quad, if I can pick it up without falling. I have this cute little stand and I got this at Besame Cosmetics. Isn't that adorable? It's a cute little stand and it looks super vintage. And then I got the little lipsticks just sitting in there and it looks so pretty, the gold, and I just love it. Absolutely love it. So Besame Cosmetics has done a wonderful thing. I love that they have recre recreated lipsticks from that time period. And so um, I love, I love anything vintage. And that is why I like this kind of hair because I always wanted Olivia Newton-John hair like in Greece. And this is so similar, so close. Not exact, but it's so close to that kind of hair. 
that I always wanted as a little girl. And I'd always say, Mom, I'm so jealous. I want that hair so bad. And then even as a teenager, because I think it is so sexy. It's so beautiful. And it's just one of those styles that's classic that's always going to look glam. So that is why my channel is Glam Life, because I'm all about glam. I love being glamorous. So again, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, again, this is a review of John Renault Jessica in 12 FSH Shaded Praline. It's a beautiful blonde color that is just phenomenal. The rooting on it is gorgeous. Um, the, the curl pattern is wonderful. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on any future uploads. I do upload wig reviews on a weekly basis. If you click the notification bell right next to subscribe, it will notify you when a new video is posted. Also in the description box down below, I would love for you to click the little down arrow and you will find links to my other channel. It's called Full Face and Fabulous. It is my makeup channel and I post weekly reviews of new makeup and how I apply them. I've also posted links to my eBay store where I do have wigs listed for sale. And then um, also there are links to both of my sister's channels. They have alternative hair channels as well. And um, I think you'll enjoy them a lot. So I hope that everybody has a fantastic week. Um, this is the start of the week. This is Monday. So I hope everybody's having an amazing week and a really, really wonderful summer with your friends and family. And I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.